Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and spoiler alert. So today is Color Monday and I was trying to, if you watched my video on catching up, I mentioned that when you tuned in to April's Color Monday, you find out what the colors were. And the reality was at that time, I didn't know either. I hadn't picked them yet. And I was thinking about a couple different combinations. And I said to my husband, what do you think a good color combination would be for Monday? And he said, how about hunter green and burgundy? And I thought, ooh, that's really pretty. I like those colors. They're nice and deep and rich. So the first thing I do when I start any project is I go out and I find everything that I have that matches those colors. And you may be looking at this going, yes, but that's not hunter green. And that's maybe close to burgundy, but it's not burgundy. Hunter green is a, has a little bit more gray in it. Burgundy has a little bit more blue in it. So and I looked through my entire stash. I have no hunter green. I have no burgundy. I have forest green and I have a deep, I don't know, crimson, I guess. It's a really deep color. So I thought I'm going to have to go with forest green and deep red instead. So I pulled everything out that has to do with that. And I have some lace that I just got. I have some ribbon. This is actually from Wegmans. It was around a gift bag. Um, Wegmans is a local grocery store for those of you who have never heard of it. But they have expanded out of New York State. The original one is, you know, less than 50 miles from me. It's up in Rochester. I grew up with Wegmans. It's my grocery store. Uh, I have a piece of green felt. I don't know if I'll do anything with that. I pulled out my paints and you'll see what I, I did play a little bit with the paints. I'll show you those in a bit. Those are some scraps. I have this beautiful silky ribbon and I have some other ribbon that's the same. So we'll play with that. And then I pulled out my box here and my things that I had already started to gather for a nature journal because I thought well hunter green and nature and then the light dawned then I got the idea I play Dungeons and Dragons I have been a D&D &D player since the late 70s I am I, I run a couple of different types of classes and last year I made a sorcerer journal and I made a cleric journal and they both sold at craft fairs so I thought what I really need to do is make some more class journals and hunter green or forest green that nice deep rich green is a ranger so I thought I'm going to make some ranger pieces and the nature things are perfect for that so I have a bunch of stuff that I had already collected for that um, I had done some, I got some new die cuts, so I did some die cutting. That was a die cut that failed. It, 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 the, it came out of here just fine, but then it, it was very intricate. It failed. Never mind. Doesn't matter. I have some reds, some deep reds. Again, going with the hunter theme, I found tracks. And I put them with a nice background. So I have that. I don't remember where I got this. I picked this background up somewhere along the way and it seemed perfect for this. These are from Valspear and I will put the link to those down below. This was the background that I made that I don't know that I will use it. This was what I played with. I played with um, inks. I had some Distress Oxide ink and I had uh, my paints. And I just played yesterday doing sort of a modified, I don't have a jelly plate, but I kind of played around with the jelly plate idea. And yeah, we'll see. I don't know if that'll be anything or not. I also have field notes. This was a free download and I, I printed it two different ways. I don't know which one I'll use yet, but these were free from Seven Plaza. And I'll put her link down below. Actually, this is also Seven Plaza. That is also Seven Plaza. Um, I can't remember who this is. I'll find out. I'll, I'll look it back up again. And that's from, I don't think it's from the Field Notes Journal. It might be. Might be. 
And then I have some solids. I also am going to grab, I've got this really pretty, very faded, I don't know what this was. It's a cardstock, but I don't know what it's from. It was in my mother's stash of stuff, and my mom was a school librarian for years, so who knows where it came from. Um, but I want to show you these. I, this is what I'm going to, you're going to have, I went and played. I played with the Hunter Green and Burgundy colors on an AI program. I'll link the AI program down below. And it was, it was hilarious because so many of the figures came out with three arms, 10 fingers on one hand. Um, yeah, they were a lot of them. The figures were useless. But I did manage to get a couple, and I'm going to show them to you now. These are some hunters that will be included in this journal. First of all, we have some female hunters. Aren't they? Aren't both of those, I think, are beautiful. Um, and that was my first printing of it. I printed it incorrectly. There are my male hunters. So I have my male and female hunters in the burgundy and green colors. Ah, oh, I'm looking forward to playing with those. I already know what I'm gonna do with them. That's all set. Okay, I'm gonna clean up this mess a little bit, um, fold some things, and then we will figure out the signature because this is going to be a journal. We're making a journal out of forest green and a deep red for a hunter. Be right back. Okay, I am back. And if you hear a lot of car doors slamming or whatnot, um, we live across the street from a park. And today is the opening day of T-Ball. So, and there are two baseball diamonds in the park across the street. So, you know that there are T-Ball games going to be going on today. So, and they're cute. Oh my glory, those little kids are so cute. So let me show you all my pieces that are going into my signature. So I have, let me actually, uh, let me kind of reorganize these just a little bit. So I have a piece of craft paper. It's a little bit thin um, and I'm, I like the fold. I thought about ironing it. I might yet, but at this point, I think I kind of like the look of it wrinkled. So there's that. I have another piece. This is also relatively thin of drawing paper. I have leaf rubbings that I did on coffee dyed paper a while ago. And so I figured for this nature ranger theme, that's perfect for just a piece of coffee dyed paper. There's my prints, my paw prints. This is upside down. So you have the tree. And then I forgot to show you that I did lined line. I printed lines on the inside. For journaling so we have that piece and then we have this piece again with the lines on the inside and this piece with the lines on the inside and my field notes which unfortunately when you tip it sideways you lose what it says up here but that's all right and then I have two greens and a red and I I'm one of these greens is going to become the cover so I'm setting that aside these are also going to be instituted into the cover. I already have an idea as to how I want to do these, but I'm not going to try to do that today. You know, let's 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 bite off a manageable choice, manageable piece. So since that's going to be my cover, um, let's start. Oh, and I forgot this piece. I decided when I cut it up, I, it really makes a nice little journal. So I put the other field notes that I have in there and I'm going to add some other pages to it. And then that's going to slide in as an addendum. Oh, and the other piece, this one, I was afraid this was going to happen. I tried to, to bend it. It's so old, it cracked. So I can use this as journal cards as they are, but I cannot, this can't be folded. So that's off to the side. That's off to the side. At some point, I will fussy cut these and we'll play with these, but not today. Not today. Okay, so let's start. I think if I've got, I want something printed next to 
that green. So I'm going to use this green for the moment just to see, to see and then see that looks really nice. I do think I'm going to go through and um, do all my edges, but I'm not going to do that on camera. That would be that would be too much. Okay, we put in a piece of. Let's go with this. We'll keep that with the theme. And then this one's a little one. Do I want that in the middle? I might want that one as my middle. No, I want the field notes as my middle. We'll go with that here. And then give me another piece of something here. These are a little bit flowery, but I liked the colors and they fit the theme. So I think we're okay. All right. I also did not include my mess. I figured that'll make nice collage on journals. Okay. <clears throat> this goes here with my flippy flap. And then I'm going to fold this the other way. I don't have anything on the back of it, but that's okay. And the field notes will go in the middle. Oops, I forgot my red. I forgot my red. And I wish I had more of the red to do something with. I like how those kind of show up together. And that. Let's throw the red right in here. Okay, so that'll be the cover. Nope, you forgot the green. Oh my glory, I knew, I keep forgetting things. Let's put the green in here. Okay, now let's take a look. So cover, and then this piece, followed by, by leaf, followed by animal tracks, piece of plain, I don't have any envelopes in here. I might want to throw an envelope in. Okay. Do this, 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 this. I might have to iron that anyway because it won't stay down. This is pretty plain, so we're going to have to, you know, slap some stuff over that one. And then coming back out, I think we're still okay. We got the flap. Yeah, I'm going to have to iron that. And then solid. That one looks upside down to me. Is that upside down? What do you think? No, okay, I guess it's not. It just when you put it together, it's fine. It just looked upside down. All right. Well, we'll put something down here to kind of balance it. Leaf rubbings, leaf rubbings, lined paper, and we're out. All right. Uh, I'm going to take a minute and ink all of these edges. Be right back. Just coming on to show, I'm grunging this one up, this particular piece, because I'm thinking when our ranger was a young person, that was one of the things that they did checked, one of the pages they would have checked often. What track is that in the forest but then they got older and now they know them by heart but back then they would have had just a little bit more they would have gotten their fingers grubby on it so i'll be back i have put the signature together now that part is done and then i was looking for a piece of uh cardstock that i could use because i think i'm going to create a master board and I found this, um, this was a 12 by 12, embossed. I don't know if the embossing part is coming out, but I'm going to use that in there as well as a piece of the signature, just because it's really pretty. So I've chosen this piece of cardstock. It is one that I will never use. Um, I don't like it. It's, I, I'm not a big bug person and there's bugs all over it. And it does have a pretty smooth background, so I think we'll be okay there. I'm going to go ahead and just start putting down some pages. Where's my glue? 
stick. You kind of need the glue stick in order to make a master board. So I'm making a master board because I'm going to want to be able to make some pockets. And I don't really have anything strong enough to make pockets with. Um, I'm also probably going to want a couple journal cards. I have a number of journal cards that go with, I could use with this, but I want something, you know, a little fancier. So I'm covering up this particular board or piece of paper to make a master board. So I'm trying to line my edges up over here. I'm probably not on camera. Uh, we'll take that piece and we'll do our smoothing out. Okay. I have a bunch of smaller pieces and bigger pieces. And I don't know yet whether I'm going to go ahead and do this cutting of the master board face up or face down. We'll see. So on this Maker Monday, we're playing with the colors of red and I decided I wasn't using this as a red and, and dark green, forest green. I'll take a piece of this. Let's do a nice big chunk. We'll put you, did I make you big enough? I didn't make you big enough. Okay. Let's go ahead here. Let's add a bigger chunk. Right about here. All right. And what doesn't get covered, that's what we have washi for. Washi will fill in all of those spots that we don't get organized. I did try to make, do this, um, I did this technique because I wanted to see if I, first of all, I wanted to see if I could do it. I didn't do it on camera, but I basically used washi or uh, jelly printing techniques with ink pads and ink to create this and water to create this. I had a good time with it, but I don't think it came out particularly well. Um, Okay, I have some greens. That's a heavier stock. I think I want to save that for a journal card because that's a nice stock. These are pretty thin, so they don't do much. Yeah, that green is a little bit bright, but that's okay. We can take it down when we do the um, decorating. When we decorate, we can change our colors as much as we want. We can even cover it all the way up if we want. So there, I have two big pieces that kind of anchor the corners. And cover up the bugs. Don't want the bugs. I know a ranger wouldn't mind the bugs, but this person doesn't like bugs. Okay. In fact, we have an infestation of those Asiatic stink bugs. They are everywhere and I can't get rid of them. They have no natural predators around here. And they came in on shipping containers through the Great Lakes. Oh my glory. I'm going to pull that back up. It's not quite level down at the bottom, at the side. And it... Oh my glory, they're disgusting. They are just totally disgusting. I do not like them. Sam, I am. I do not like them. Okay. I like this piece. Let's... Okay, that's... That'll go nicely there. Let's... Let's kind of cut that right about here. And do I want to use the whole piece and cover that over, or do I want to use it down here? I want to bring it down here, because that will give me another piece to use. I'll cut off the lilies of the valley. I got this backwards. I can't do it. Oh, my glory. I can't do this this way. I got to do it this way. Here we go. 
It says queen on the bottom, and I think that would be okay for a ranger, for queen and country. Now it doesn't go quite long enough, but that's okay, because we'll add something else in down at the bottom. The hard part in doing this particular project is finding enough dark red paper. I don't have a lot of it and I'm trying very hard not to go out and buy this year. This is, or buy, buy materials anyway. I'm buying things like inks and glues and um, laces, that sort of thing, but I don't want to buy paper. I have so much paper. I really need to use a bunch of it up. Okay, what else do I have in my stash over here? Got some other little papers. I've got, well, I have that piece, which will fit very nicely right up there. So we'll use up the last of that piece so we can get it used up and not, we don't lose it. There. I'll throw that in there. Um, another little piece here. I can put that back down here. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, what do I have here? I have this piece, which is the other half of that. Elvis. No, I don't want Elvis. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut this so that the tickets are not a part of it. And then I'm going to set this aside for a different journal on a different day. But I like the little birdies. Okay, let's actually I want the fern. Let's use the fern. We might save those birdies too. We we'll save those for something else. Well, let's put the little ferns in here. We're going to have a couple of spaces that are going to need washi covering. Ooh, that's a nice dark color. I don't like it next to that green, though. We'll save you for a different something else. Okay, I have here... I could do this. Let me do this. Cut this down. I actually took this out of the newspaper. There's an article in the, yes, I still read the newspaper. I know I am a dry, dying breed. We still take a daily paper, as my grandparents would say. And this was an article that was in the paper because we have a, a sugar beet processing, used to have a sugar beet processing uh, plant because that was a major crop done here back and a long time ago. So let's put you... Okay, I think what I'm going to save here, I think you're going to go on top. Nope, there we go. We'll put you right over there. So this is just a piece of newspaper. And I cut it out and I thought, I don't know if it'll go in the journal or not. I think I, it will. It has found its spot. There. Newspapers are great to work with for this sort of thing. Okay, I have a couple of other strips. Let's put that strip right down there. You know what? I'm gonna... I should have done this to the newspaper, I suppose. And not to all of them. I don't want to do all of them because, you know, sometimes you need a little variety. This poor glue book, it owes me nothing. I have had it and been using it since um, the beginning of 2023. It's old. I've been, it's almost empty. I'm on page 473 out of like 530 something. 500 and, oh, 504. So I don't have that much more left to go in it. It's an old Dick Blick catalog, and it has been absolutely wonderful. There. 
cover that over. What other pieces do I have here? Mostly I have little pieces. And I like those, but I need a couple more to fill in some of these other spots. You know, I wonder if that's... Is that, no, it's not big enough. So we'll put you down here. Right on the edge. So I'm looking at these little pieces here. That's a little piece of wallpaper. See, I've got, they're all little. I need some bigger pieces. I'm looking through my stash of, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. I like that. I think I'll put that right up there. Covers up a couple of things, but that's all right. We're, I'm learning that in collage, covering up things is all a part of the process. It is hard for me, though, because I don't want to waste. And so it feels like sometimes like I'm wasting things because I'm covering, putting them down and then covering them up. Okay, I like that. And then we have this. Good, that covers up Queen. I was thinking Queen would be okay, but, you know, the more I think on it, the more I think not, because I was thinking queen like in royalty, but it's really a ticket to see queen. Can you imagine that? Having gone to see Freddie Mercury live? That would have been something, wouldn't it? All right, now where's some of those small ones? This looks like a little postage stamp. I'm going to cut it down so that it is just the little flower. You know, I've got a lot of green on here. I don't have a lot of red. But the reality is I don't have a lot of red. So maybe we'll find... I've got a couple spots more that I can throw red in. But for right now, we're just going to put our little postage stampy type thing and I'm not, I, I don't tend to over decorate my master boards because that's what you do when you do the other stuff. You, you, okay, I know this is the same, but I think I'm going to go ahead and throw you in there anyway because I want the red. What is this? That's just a strip of straight green. I just need a little, come on, a little bit of red. Actually, you know where I need this? Not up there. I need this down here. Okay, to balance the red out. Now, I do have some washi that I can use, and I'm going to use a little bit of, of this dark green washi. Mm. Might be too modern. Hang on. I also have this washi. I really like this washi, but I have to be very careful with it because it has a tendency, yep, to do exactly that. I think that I might be coming close to the end where that is a problem. It it got um it looks like it got sliced. So let me pull that right off. And keep going here. Oh, I can't seem to grab anything here. Don't want that. There, now. Grab that little piece right there and get rid of it. There. That does a good job there. This is stuck to my fingers. I have glue all over me, so now, of course, it's just going to stick. Okay. Now where else can we put some washi? 
to kind of calm things down. I think some in here. See, it's still stuck to me. Oh my glory. Talk about obnoxious. Okay. Be gentle with it. Nope, we still managed to split it. This was not cheap washi. I have another roll that's doing the same thing, and this was not cheap. So I'm a little ticked. Because, I mean, I expect it for cheap washi, but this wasn't cheap. This was expensive stuff. Well, not real expensive, but you know what I mean. This is not dollar store washi. Best place still so far to get washi is the washi tape shop. I've never been disappointed by their washi. There. I'll put some birdies there. I have a little bit... I've got a map here. And rangers would have maps. For those of you who don't know, rangers in Dungeons & Dragons are pretty much based off... Oh, now it seems to be okay. Based off of the character of Aragorn in The Lord of the Rings. No, that's not true. Let me say it again. Based off the character of Strider in Lord of the Rings. Those of you who know the Lord of the Rings well know that Strider and Aragorn are the same person. When I first read it, I fell in love with Strider. I loved him. And when he became Aragorn, I didn't like him as much. Um, he was a little more snooty. Not my favorite character after that point. But, and in the movies, they pretty much ignored Strider entirely. He was sort of kind of there, but rangers are the woodsmen. They're the hunters. They're the trackers. So they know plants. They know uh, medicines from plants. They're no herbal remedies. That's kind of their thing. All right, I'm going to call that master board done. Let's go ahead and cut it up. On our dark red and forest green day. Now, do I want to cut this up blind or do I want to cut it up? I think I'm going to cut it up face up only because I want to, there are some pieces of it I don't want to mess up. So this is a little over three and a half. These will make nice journal cards or pockets. Actually, let's make... This one will obviously need a lot of decorating. Let's go ahead and cut it here. How, 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 that's six inches. That's too big. I want it to be about four and a half. Yes. Four and a half. And that's going to be... That's not four and a half. Is that four and a half? That says four and a half. I think I want it a little bit bigger than that. When I put it up against my page... I guess it's right. It's just tall. It's a tall pocket, but that's okay. We'll, have, we'll go with a tall pocket. I'm going to make a pocket out of it right away so I don't forget that's a pocket. Um, so these, I think, should be journal cards. How much do I have? How much space do I have? Here? But uh, I want to cut those at about three and a half. Those will be nice journal cards. Okay, what do I have here? Okay, I have this writing space here. I'm going to go ahead and cut this here. Because I want to keep my sugar beets together. Stop it. Okay, let's cover you up and get rid of you because you're just falling all over the place. I don't know where I want to stop it there yet. So let's go here. I don't know what that is yet. And we're going to go here. And I want this to be a journal card and that will be a small tag. So let's make that a tag right now. Okay, maybe we won't. I don't know. There it is. 
I'm going to say, I know I had it here somewhere. I was just using it. Okay, if you haven't done this before, this is an old store card. We no longer have a lint store anywhere near us. Um, so any royal, any loyalty points I might have had, those are long gone. So now I have a nice little tag. And so what I did with it was I cut four different or three different angles off of it. I haven't cut the fourth because I don't know what I want the fourth one to be. But I use it as my template. It works beautifully for that. So now I have that. And I want to cut these because I wanted this one to be together. I don't know if that's going to be a tag or a card yet. I think this can be a tag with a slightly larger angle. And it makes it really easy. I know a lot of people just, you don't have to have a store card. A lot of people will just take the corner and flip it over. I'll do that for the next one if I do another one. So there we go. We got another tag. Let's see what we've got left on this master board. This is going to be a journaling card. I'm going to leave that one as it is. Okay, we have, this is 12 inches. And I think I'm going to cut, if I cut it in, if I do this one as another, I'm going to make this four and a half piece of hair down there, sorry. Four and a half. Yeah, I'm going to go with four and a half for that one. This is looking like it's not going to stick. I can fix that and grab my glue. Either that or I can just take it right off. Nope. Yeah, I'll just do that. And then I'm going to put, since this is also going to be a journaling card, there. Done. And this one, let's break you right here. We got two little cards. All right. So today we have managed to put together a signature in using these colors. We have an entire, um, what do we want to call this, masterboard cut up uh, that is going to be able, that these are going to need decorating, but we have lots, we have some tags specifically, we have some pockets specifically. And then we have a bunch of things that may be journaling cards, maybe pockets. We'll see what they end up when we start putting the journal together and what we need. All right. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit like to let YouTube know that you like them. And if you want notifications as to when the next video comes out, make sure you click on that notification bell. In the meantime, this is Cindy signing off.